Beep, 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 beep. How are we, good people? <clears throat> I may be a little close. I'm moving back a bit. But relax, in your little chair, right? How are you? Bloody freezing. Got me thing on that. So we have a Jester special for you. Jester special. <laughs> you know I enjoy those. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the Jester special today is in support of uh, the marvellous uh, MP Tonia Antoniazzi. What a fantastic name, Antoniazzi. Well, it reminds me of Moonstruck, one of my favourite films. Que belle, right? And Tony Antonazia, in the last 24 hours, put up a tweet just saying, Bonne nuit, <laughs> meaning obviously good night, to which there was a furore that followed because the tweet said, female single-sex spaces are not yours to give away, which is in line with the Equality Act. We know this, right? It's in line with the Equality Act, right? But oh, it's caused kerfuffle. So <clears throat> I put together a little substack. Right, so you can have a look and see what's happened yesterday. There's a few pictures, right? Uh, which is in the links in the doobers as usual. Oh, become a warrior, teacher, buy me a coffee, the usual. Now, so it's rare to see the tactics of an immature bunch of ever children in action. But yesterday was the day. They've obviously coordinated themselves. This is like um, young, young la labour or labour in, labor in hug huggies or pampers. <laughs> right, young labour who <clears throat> absolutely went for her. Like you wouldn't believe, I mean, they're vile. You can, you'll see in some of the tweets, but it's also all over Duber, isn't it? It's all over, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Twitter, the X. So you can see it there as well. So go and have a look, right? So the statement, I, it set off this group of howling morons like you wouldn't believe. I mean, absolute utter falsity gibbons, right? So <clears throat> um, what it demonstrates, what it shows is I've got a list. I put a list here on the substack, so I'll run that by you too. It appears to demonstrate that the Labour Party young people, these these noobs, whatever they are, right? Young Labour, as a pitch, social, with, with the word socialist future, you have uh, no chance, kids. It murders people. Have you not got that yet? <laughs> right, OK. Um, is that what this actually proves from all of these uh, idiotic um, councillors and uh, would-be MPs and people running for various positions of, you know, uh, trans bummy licky officer whatever it may be right okay um that you all unfortunately uh, may well be part of a list of things i put together now i'm happy to be proved wrong by any of you uh um silly young people but i'm going to go with the following list that you are right and i'll say are they you tell me in the in the dubris right is this what they are let's begin right are they misogynists oh right okay are they homophobic? Oh, yeah. Are they anti-science and anti-reality? Tell me in the dubris. Are they pro the gender ideology belief system? You know, gendered souls slipped into a flesh, flesh sack, which of course immediately makes you homophobic. Yeah. Are they pro queer theory? Go and have a look. Go and look at some of their tweets. Have a look down their timelines. Are they pushing queer theory? We know where that goes, don't we? With its darkness and its breaking down of the boundaries between adults and children. Well, hey, is that them too? Are they anti-safeguarding? PSO, do they? Are they the hard left? You know, all sitting in their little, you know. Well, Marx once said, Lenin! <laughs> Right? Are they the hard left? They most certainly are collective bullies because this was coordinated. I'll give them that much. So I'm declarative on that one only. Do they have a... Oh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm declarative on the next one as well. Do they have a pack mentality? And, and the next one. <laughs> so I'll go with... I'm going to go with three of these that I'm a hard yes, right? Collective bullies, pack mentality and ideologically deranged. And then I put a picture of a pack of them underneath, which is a poster that says young, young labour. That's what it says, young labour. Um, and then you've got a list of them with different pictures of some of these people that are young labour. And it seems that some of them have been having a go, right? So, uh, BAME, LGBT+, plus, it's all there. So I'm gonna, I want to know what this young labour lot are up to, right? And then you get old, old Ben's a dream butter gas, but he had to get in on the act, so he put down, queer people's lives are not yours to control. Oh, here, Ben. Go hide in a ditch, will you? Benjamin old butter gasp, right? But then we come up with one. I've got a couple of examples here. There's one from a councillor, Meg Birchall of Oldham. Now, Meg is very concerned about housing for people. Good for you, Meg. That's the scrap you should be having, love. Right? And But she put down, in response to Tonya, transphobes are not fit to be MPs. Right? Okay. 
So Tonya, Tonya quotes the reality of the Equality Act and you think they're not fit to be an MP because of it. You're not fit to be a councillor, Meg, because you're obviously a bit thick. Meg continues, if you can't stand up for the rights of your vulnerable constituents, you have due to, you, you have due to online radicalisation. Tonya has been radicalised online. <laughs> Probably by me. <laughs> online radicalisation. I just can't. Stop it. Right. She then continues, make no mistakes. Mistake, this is not a woman's rights movement either. When people like Posey Parker, here we go. People like Posey Parker believe abortion rights are worth setting aside as long as the rights and legal protections of trans people can be removed. This is not a movement protecting LGB either. These are recycled narratives used to harm them and they are again reused for all LGBT people. Rubbish, Meg. Absolute bloody unmitigated rubbish. Right, TQ plus is a homophobia incarnate. Girl, wake up. Quick thought. It fills me... Good Lord, it must be lonely. Quick thought. <laughs> Sorry, Meg. It fills me with disgust that I've seen fellow Labour councillors and members liking both of her tweets. God damn it! People disagree with Meg. Come on, Meg. You know your heart's in the right place, you want to do something about housing. I suggest you get yourself out of all this nonsense, love. I do, really. So, um, obviously, I've immediately unfollowed the people that have done the tweets, but you will not erase us. And the history books will show the resistance of trans people right now alongside other liberation. What, like what? The liberation of gay people from being a crime? Uh, what, what? The liberation of South Africans from apartheid? What about the liberation, liberation of France during the World War? Eh? Or what about the liberation of, uh, of, of Poland? Come on, Meg, with your hyperbolic nonsense. <laughs> Um, oh, right now, along to other liberation movements. I can imagine the liberation movements you have, and they're usually first thing in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry, Meg, you stick your head above the parapet. You're going to get it. Anyway, I'm going to mute this now, because honestly, I had better things to do than argue with a bunch of weirdos and bigots online. So those people that want to uphold the Equality Act are weirdos and bigots, according to Labour. Starmer, you've got a problem. You've got a serious problem, Starmer. Right, you have a cabal of nutters. Representing you. She then responds, I forgot to log back out so quickly to all the people standing against the transphobia and the replies. QT's here and on elsewhere, as well as what we face off social media. Stay strong. Look after yourself and keep fighting the good fight. Trans rights are human rights. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, so I then put, is it me or is this misogyny in plain sight? Let alone the rampant homophobia of believing in a gendered soul. It was not long before the true colours come flying out and full throated support of queer theory became a thing from our Meg, right? So Meg then said, um, I see the queue is gone now. So much for only being against trans people, not cis queer people. No such thing as cis, Meg. We all know this was a homophobic movement focused in respectability politics and now they're fully masked off. So what Meg's saying here is that she doesn't want anything to do with respectability. I can understand that, Meg. <laughs> uh, and she thinks that there's such a thing as cis and such a thing as queer. Pure, unadulterated, misogynistic homophobia from Meg, Councillor Meg Birchall. All right. I don't care, Meg. Right? Put your drawers up, dear. Do a better job, eh? UK homosexual, who I follow and is great, comes back with these great rep reposts, responded, you're a homophobic, though. You think gay men are women with gender dysphoria. <laughs> to which Meg had no reply, strangely enough. Um, then we had next out the, uh, the, the gate, we have Anya. Um, oh, hang on a minute. No, there's something else. We've also got... <coughs> Councillor Meg. So I thought, I'll have a look. What else has she been saying, right? And then we've got Councillor Meg Birchall. That's the point, she says about it all. I am not a woman. I am non-binary. Okay, next. Oh, I don't care about... How did she get to be a councillor? People weren't looking. <laughs> in Oldham. People in Oldham were going, what's for tea? Well, councillors out there going, right, we only need about eight of us because nobody votes. So, you know, eight turned up dressed in whatever it is they wear these days, these TQ plus nutters. And just... Tick that box. Come along now. Have you ticked the right box? Is it? Have you ticked the right? Looks like you're going to get in, Meg. Yeah. Um, I don't care about people perceiving me as a trans woman, but if you're going to come into my replies trying to misgender me, at least take the time to do a quick fact check to make sure it lands. This is if you want to insult me, you will do so around me. Right? So I, your, my view of the world is the one that is dominant. Meg, you're an authoritarian twerp. Sorry, love. So, um... 
Anya, which is next one that was mentioned, right? So Anya, we are supposed to be the party of social justice and equality. Yet once again, our own MPs are sharing inflammatory and bigoted statements. Um, what? I don't know. What do you say to that? Um, apparently, Anya is running to be the chair of Labour students. Bless her cotton socks, right? So she wasn't happy. So uh, the Labour Party has a duty, says Anya, to create a safe space for the trans community and to quash disgraceful Tory culture wars. Love and solidarity. It's... <laughs> it's like they've taken everything that was ever good about the Labour movement and sprinkled it with trans bullshit. <laughs> and your bike, I say. <laughs> They're mad. Right, so again, got a problem with the Equality Act. What the hell is wrong with them? It's just weird. Right, then we get another one, <clears throat> which is even weirder because this bloke's old enough to know better. Right, called Councillor Jack Lennox. As an on-off park runner, I hope not in an... I'll race now. Sorry, I'm stopping at this point. <laughs> Much more off in recent years, sadly. I hope you're all right, Jack, because that sounds like you're not. I know first-hand park run is all about participation and inclusivity. It's not about winning. It's volunteer-led, and the idea is volunteers should start interrogating people about their gender identity is ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's bonkers. I need to oil this chair. It's bonkers. He's obviously old enough to done better. He's done zero research and understands nothing about it. And I said, it's galling to see a man of his advancing... Oh, wait, hang on. He's green. He's in the greens. <laughs> Who else have we got? Well, we then got Ryan Bogle, right? Ryan Bogle. Uh, Labour MPs should never be able to spread and share such provocative and inflammatory hate. It's devastating that this won't lead to a discussion of whether the shadow whip should even have a whip at all. Right? Here, Ryan is devastated, displaying uh, hyper his hyperbolic uh, wind beetle tendencies for all to see. So, uh, sit down, young man. The adults are talking. Right? <laughs> Just go and have a look. It's on my substack. Right? I jest. Um, I do. But there's a seriousness to this. Because they've got, a bully they they've got blind faith in nonsense. They're anti-science. They're actually anti-enlightenment. That's what they are. They are the dark ages. Right? Walking round. They are the dark ages. That's what they are. This is the same ideology that they support that will force gay men in Iran to take the death penalty or bodily mutilation. They are the same thing. Don't think they're not, because they are. And then I have to think to myself, are they really this bloody thick? Well, the answer is yes. So I thought, well, what can we do? If you wanted to do something, you, you, I'm talking to you, Jester rights and others. If you actually want to do something, you can. I tagged it on the bottom of the substack. OK, it's called The Nolan Principles. Go and have a look. Find your facts. Twitter's mo Get screenshot in, folks. Put down your facts. Put down your information you want to say about the individual. I have put the link in there so that you can complain to Labour directly. They've just put up a recent new paper about this, about how they behave, how they should behave. Go get them. I don't care if they're 16 or 60. You don't compromise with these idiots. Compromise, ladies and gentlemen, is going to kill all of us. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Jester special. Boop, boop.